Wow, welcome to Love Like Sobolo. Thank you guys for subscribing, for sharing, for spreading the news everywhere. It is Love Like Sobolo. It is the new craze, it's a new atmosphere, it's a new thing. Love Like Sobolo. We have looked at this demystifying marriage and we want to look at demystifying marriage too. So we go a little deeper. Friends, we want to thank friends in Germany, in Thailand, in America, in the U, uh, in Canada, in all parts of the world, and especially in Nigeria. We want to thank Mabel Ayoko, Philadelphia Ministry, and all who are really sharing supporting us promoting us letting people hear of the good thing hear of love in the context of an african context those on facebook those on twitter those on instagram it is so marvelous those who are calling us to encourage us putting it on their social media handles whatsapp and the like we are so grateful and we say god bless you I want to thank especially mark inwell kofi PK Clothings, the number is on the screen, as you can see, for this beautiful attire. He's a very great guy. He sews so well. He's always on point. I want to thank Ima. Thank you. God bless you, Ima, for these clothes to support Love Like Sobolo. I want to thank West Africa Hardware and Deco at Adenta and other parts of Ghana all across the country. If you go to Acts of Uncle Victor or Angie, Angela, and they will give you special discount. If you say love like Sobolo, they have the best house and sanitary wear. If you want the best that last, then they have it. Those who are watching from around the world, in particular in Germany, if you want to build in Ghana, then it's West Africa Hardware and Deco. Thank you so much, Uncle Victor, Auntie Angie, and all the staff and crew there. God bless all of you, love, like Sobolo. Today we are demystifying love too. Last episode we look at what marriage is and we look at the type of marriage in Ghana and people are raising issues. Hey, you were saying wedding is not Christian marriage? Yes, wedding is not Christian marriage. So stop making noise. That my wedding, I've been married in the church. So it's, Christ- it's not Christian marriage. Christian marriage could be customized marriage where people who are involved, the two parties involved, are going with the Bible and what God says about marriage. And there are people who have been married in church and don't go by the tenets of the Bible. That is not Christian marriage. And I stand with it. And I'm saying again that stop saying engagement. It is customized marriage. Then there's a question that a young man wrote to us that what do we think of the so-called thing that is up now that you see people who will go to the mall with their beloved people they want to marry you see the guy kneeling down and this guy will say that oh i want to propose to you you see this guy proposing with a ring kneeling down and all kinds of things yes if people have the means why not and if people want to do you can't legislate on anybody but the point in question is that people have the right to do what they want to do. But whatever you do, you have to really be convinced about that. As Africans, if you want the hand of anybody in marriage, what is the procedure? You go to the family. We have said in episode, the previous episode, that marriage is between family in the African context. So you go to the family and then things start from there. So it is foreign to us, and these are my views. You may have other views, and you have your right to hold a view that you go and stand somewhere with cameras, with rings, and say, I have proposed and hey, I'm going to get married. If you have even done that and you have not gone to the family in an African context, you have not done anything. Demystifying marriage, too. Today, Let's go to the substantive issue again. We are saying that marriage transcends an event. Marriage is not an event. 
marriage is a process. Hey, marriage is never an event, but it is a process. So, what goes into marriage is key. If you have that beloved, you are certain, ready to enter into this lifelong union, you require to go through what we have termed premarital counseling. And you hear people say, oh, my mother didn't go through counseling. My parents didn't go through counseling. But they've been married for 40 years. Look at uh, those who are going through counseling. Their marriage don't work. It is better to go through premarital counseling for the marriage not to work than never to go through and to suffer in marriage. All who have really gone through premarital counseling are exposed to things that might happen in the marriage. I'm not saying that it is automatic that once you have gone for premarital counseling, then your marriage will work. No. But it is better. And at least you have some information. Because marriage is the only institution where you get a certificate before you start the real thing. So friends, after we have made our minds, let us seek help. Our parents who did not go through official premarital counseling, some churches will have six months, some churches have one year, some churches have a laborious procedure to go through. The objective of these procedures in some churches is to help you in decision, to help you to reevaluate what you really want to do. That is why some of these things are put here. There may be issues in these churches, yes. There may be issues in some of the process, yes. But all things being equal, you need some information about what you are entering before you enter. Our parents will stay with their parents, learn from other people. We have people who are counselors, do not former, people who would take them to do process and the like. So premarital counseling have been with us, though it had not the name we give it now. Demystifying marriage. Demystifying marriage. I'm saying that marriage is not an event, but a process, a full process. What do we mean by that? Don't spend all your energy only on the day of marriage. So from, for most young people, for especially our sisters, it is the day of marriage. So on that day, I have this idea, I have that idea, I have that idea. I want to have um, 10 bridesmaids. Praise God if you have the money for that. I want to have 10 price groom. We have to rehearse dancing. Our cake must drop from the sky. We have to look for hashtag. So if I am Abraham marrying Bella, it will be up. Bella, it will be Bella up. We have to look for contemporary uh, photo shoot. Yet if you are thinking of photo shoot, then you have to think of uh, will be being in photos. That guy is good. Look for him. We will be in photos. He has been taking all my pictures. God bless him. And he is the same African dude. Yeah, we are looking at uh, trying to get event, uh, the place to do. We have to decorate in this way. Friends, marriage is not about the event. I'm not saying if you have the means, don't do them. But for the many who don't have the means but are forcing everything possible because others are doing it, marriage is never and never an event but a process. Moving on. Do I have to take a loan to organize a wedding, so-called, a marriage event, so-called? I am of the view that make do with what you have. Never take a loan, my view though, to, for the event of marriage. After the marriage, what will you eat? What will you spend in the marriage? Never follow other people because my friend won a, a gown from the US, I have to wear a gown from the US. I have officiated marriages where there are only five people, very rich guys, and they are married still. I have officiated marriages where the lady never wore a white gown. She wore her normal kente clothes, any other clothes. What is important is that you understand that marriage is a process. It's never about the event and the day. Last two months ago, I was part of a marriage ceremony that had less than 10 people and they are married. Marriage is never about an event. It is about a process.
process life long union thank you once again for watching love like sopo look we are so grateful for your time for sharing for subscribing for being part of the movement love have sweetness have ginger have bitterness have spices have other things but when all is put together love is like sopo look. thank you and god bless you